In the mid-1900s, DDT was one of the most commonly used insecticides in the U.S. By the following decade, environmentalists rallied against the use of DDT because of its adverse environmental effects. Imagine a field of corn sprinkled with one unit of DDT per square foot. Now imagine a caterpillar eating leaves of corn for every day of a week. Now imagine a small bird eating that caterpillar and a larger bird, maybe a hawk, eating that small bird. By the time that DDT reaches the hawk, it's in high enough concentrations that the hawk will die. And that's a result of something called bioaccumulation and biomagnification. Biomagnification increases the concentration of harmful chemicals in an organism depending on how high in a trophic level or how high on the food web that organism is. So imagine back to the corn. The corn is covered with one unit per square foot of DDT. The caterpillar eats so much corn that by the time caterpillar is eaten by a small bird, it, the concentration within the caterpillar is 10 units per square foot of caterpillar. Likewise, by the time the, bird, the small bird eats the caterpillar, the concentration is 100 units per square foot of small bird. Therefore, by the time it reaches the hawk or the larger bird, the concentration is a whopping 1,000 units per square foot of hawk. That's enough to kill a hawk, and that was enough to lower bird populations throughout the U.S. And that's why science is so important.